Well, I'm pretty certain that if I wasn't an idiot, I wouldn't be as entertaining. Well, folks, Flip not here. Yet another sunny day in lovely Florida. Um, we're at the cusp of hell weather. Literal hell where you're burning. I feel like a lot of people have been asking me about the Saddleman seat on the standard. And I'm going to be doing a full review on the standard and all the upgrades and everything to it very soon. Before I give it back, I want to... I'm the type of person where I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta get to know a girl before we really get, you know, personal. But one thing I'm gonna say really quick, it does not dissipate heat very well. And especially in this Florida sun, if the heat, oh man, like, it, it, I feel like my butt's being branded with the Saddleman logo every time, it, you know, it gets above 82 degrees. Que sera, sera. Man, it feels like it's been forever since I've done one of these. Yeah, I know, I did the freaking Hot Rod show, but that was like two weeks ago now for me and before that i had all the footage from daytona and then we had the camp out i haven't released a camp out video because i feel like it was an oversaturated market slightly and i understand that we're trying to bring as much attention but at the same time i don't want to like dilute it so i'm gonna wait on my personal viewpoint of the whole thing for a couple of weeks just so it kind of like reignites that fire not that i know that anybody's gonna whatever you get my point but we, here we are, back on two wheels, little thing on my face, and you right there in that thing, and me just babbling on and blah, blah, blah. So let's play a little bit of catch up of what's going on to Flip. Dude, has been sick for the last week. Uh, she got a $500 tummy ache. Yes, I'm gonna be dramatic about it because she cost me $500 to tell me that she had a tummy ache. Don't get me wrong. I really do appreciate knowing that her, you know, her pancreas is still working and she took x-rays and they found out that she has arthritis in her spine, but it's not affecting her, which is a good thing. Yada, yada, yada. It was almost like a $500 checkup, plus the few little things. She's great now. She's being a little brat again. Being a brat in the sense of the fact that she refuses to eat her dry food because I've had to give her medicated wet food for the last week. And so until I give her wet food, she's not gonna eat. And she's on a hunger strike, so screw you deedles and after releasing my hot rod video today which was for me uh i'm still back on this like i don't get it and i can't figure it out but for whatever reason on any gopro above the five five session five whatever i believe that there's something weird with the firmware operating system of gopro where it kind of overcompensates and really torques up the audio levels when you're recording so this microphone keeps clipping out and I need to buy a new microphone. Uh, I got two ideas. Uh, I've been talking to Blockhead a lot and he keeps telling me just get the giant squid. So I went ahead and I just bought the giant squid. I should be here over the next couple of days. And then I found a different microphone from a company called Movo. Movo is an audio company from my understanding. Everything I see them do is like in the microphone world and recorders and things. But they're the only company I've ever seen that has a GoPro specific section on their website, which amazed me because for whatever reason, nobody understands that this is a thing and that these things aren't really great. And then these microphones aren't the best either. And nobody specializes in GoPro audio or like audio pack audio. Nobody talks about like how to be able to level it out or like turn down the limiter on it. Because if, if, it, if it clips, it clips and there's no coming back from after it clips. So I'm sure this whole video is going to sound awful. I apologize. But Movo makes this cool little helmet microphone that was the first I've ever seen of it. And it's really, really rad. And it's built to be inside of a helmet and it has a, and it's small and it has a little goose arm so you can stick it behind the cheek and get it right where it needs to be. But it's made to go in a helmet. It's the first I've ever seen one. So, of course, I had to have it. It was only $30, which is an extremely reasonable price on it. And hence, I took my wallet out from its usual spot and forgot it at home. And here we are. And well, I'm pretty certain that if I wasn't an idiot, I wouldn't be as entertaining. I forgot my wallet at home because I was trying to purchase a new microphone for my helmet today and put my wallet by my computer and forgot to grab it when it's usually by my keys. I guess in some ways, Lucky for me that my phone at least has Apple Pay, and this isn't a purchased item, it is a gift. And what that gift is, is my new Flip Not Logo t-shirt that I'm trying to send off to Dave. Dave is the lovely gentleman who designed my Flip Not Logo. 
finally got shirts made, so I'm sending a bunch of stickers and shirts. Appreciate everything you did for me. Really, really helpful. Thank you so much. Let's go to Jared's house. Only places that accept Apple Pay. And that's that. And as of this Sunday, April 11th, the day this video is gonna come out, it is gonna be my one year anniversary of being alive, another 360 degrees around the sun. By the way, why is there 365 days in a year and it takes 360 degrees to go around something? Just saying, think about it. It's my birthday, April 11th, I'm turning 37. I still feel like I'm 20. I feel like, I feel like an 18 year old. I don't know what age I feel like. I just know that I don't feel like I'm almost 40. That's the part that I can't grasp. Like 26, 26 was a great year. 26 is that year where you're still young enough to be stupid and dumb, but you're old enough to know better and have a little bit of money in your bank account. 26 was a great year. It's also one of those weird things when you start getting to these ages where it's like 20 years ago, what in the, mm, 20 years ago, 20 years ago was half my life. That is such a strange idea for me. Actually, here's a funny little side note. I was talking to my mom about getting older and whatever. And uh, it was just, <laughs> and it was just really entertaining because as we were talking, I realized, and she doesn't agree, she didn't understand at first either, but like, I realized that the older I get, the closer in age we get because there's more behind us and less in between us. My mom will be 67 this year. She's exactly 30 years older than me. So when I was 10 and she was 40, it seemed like such a dramatic difference, but I'm almost 40 and she's almost 70. It's a weird concept and it's a little bit. But yeah, the older you get, the closer in age you get to your parents. It's so weird. It's such a funny idea. All right. Enough of this blabbering. Uh, let's go help somebody fix yet another broken Harley. So according to Jared, he's already eaten. I'm getting really hungry and I really, really hope that Zaxby's accepts Apple Pay because I've never had Zaxby's either. that order <clears throat> I got a really dumb question for you first all right. I forgot my wallet at home all I have is Apple pay unfortunately we can't take Apple pay all right thank you so much well flip sounds like karma is telling me to listen wait than everybody else, because you got fired. All right guys, back up at Wings HQ, and uh, one man's misfortune leads him to fortune, or something, I don't know. Uh, but what was, it, what was the stupid thing? Oh, yeah. One man's good deed is another man's burden. Now that Jared got more cameras, he's got too many cameras, and just keeps using cameras, and I just sit back and laugh, because it's not me this time. <laughs> it's horrible. One, dos, Trace. I think Jared's got more GoPros and cameras than I do now. Um, yeah, I got like five more inside the house. <laughs> I have a two, a three, a three plus, and an eight. So, yes. Yeah, and not including the three fours you have out here. Mm -hmm. People are awesome. They are. Good people. Thanks for everything, guys. Yeah. You guys really stepped up way better than I thought you were going to. So that's super rad. But hey, you know, you, you guys are getting some out of it too. That means he gets to make more videos. If you're not going to make it videos, make him make videos with your stuff. There you go. Or if you have old cameras and you're not using them anymore, I'll... Send them to me. Send them to me. Is this what somebody does with their show winning bikes and trophies? Just... Listen. It's a coaster now. Listen, Linda. You put my bike's trophies as a trophy. As a coaster. You take it home and put it on your wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stolen Valor. I meant the motorcycle. If you oh, yeah. I, can put, I, will put, I will put that thing on my wall and nobody's going to come near it again. Stab it. <clears throat> Stay away. I don't need the blow torch anymore. Are you sure? I hope not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. 
Let, let, let's make one of those like really crappy like. I can't believe Harley did this fucking thumbnail. Oh, that that whole video is coming soon. The whole series of why the heck would Harley Davidson do this to make you angry? With the sequel of. Why do Harley Davidson writers do this? Oh, guys, uh, another really, 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 really important thing. I don't know if you noticed Jared's new haircut. Mohawk. That's a five hundred dollar haircut. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See what that guy wants me to do with my hundred dollars? That ain't gonna happen. Is that all like just oil is like primary and other stuff too. So that is the transmission oil. Uh, which is the gearbox oil, um, the oil from the oil tank, and the primary. All right, guys, uh, let's cue the Three Stooges music and see how this works out. No, Jared, I've never heard of you one fart smeller. You're one fart smeller. Is that a country thing? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like saying smart feller. But like, that's why I'm asking if it's a country thing. Yeah. yeah, this is the solution. Just put it up to the edge and then like poke a hole and let it drain out. Were we're, not put, we're not putting that in. <laughs> were you sure it was an oops? <laughs> or was it an intentional, uh, let's see where this leads. You know, tomato, tomato. Apples and pears, same thing, but completely different. What to do, what to do, what to do. I think I've done everything I can do in your garage. Well, Jared, now that you have a Dyna, uh, what are you going to change your uh, internet name to? Because you can't own a Harley and a Dyna at that without a, like, Harley Davidson name like Dinah Dan or Soft Tail Sam or or some kind of bro in it somewhere. I wonder how many people you got a fingerprint on your lens. Ah! I wonder how many Harley riders have their password as. Hey, season two is good. Henry Rollins playing a Nazi. Back on, man. Go on down, get on, get done. Woo! Hey guys, uh, I'm not gonna pretend that the birthday present I bought for myself isn't sitting on my front porch. So I'm gonna go home and play with my new iPhone. Later, dicks. You know what? I really love the fact that I can see what's going on there and frame up things. I've really been struggling with the idea of buying another GoPro 9 because I've actually found a lot of really, really great things from it. And it seems like it's a really good idea. I've been meaning to make a video on the Girl Pro 9 and in this scenario. Just one of those things I gotta get around to. But, moment. But I love the fact of how these things work lately and just the ease of it and the form factor and quite honestly the price on it's actually really reasonable if you do it correctly. Another story, another time. But at the same time, Amy and Stacy from Ride the Food and your GoPro Max. The GoPro Max is a 360 camera and she uses one camera and that's it. It's her filming camera, it's her writing camera, it just does everything that she needs it to do and that's the end of the day for her. Now, the crazy person that I am, I would run an external audio pack and have it in my microphone so I could have this conversation with you, but you still be able to see it that way too. But then I feel weird about this and then I can't do the back and forth because then we can do back and forth and that's always fun. It makes my editing a lot better and I feel like it's a little bit smoother as well. So I would miss this. At the same time though, still run this and I could still have a 360 over here, but the crazy psychopath that I already am, I already can't stand the fact that this is so big and this is just so mm. lately i've been running the mount over here so the camera stays here so it's a lot less of this so again 
if it was going to be the GoPro Max, it'd be super huge and big and flat and quite honestly, not the most aerodynamic scenario, so probably not going to work, but there is that Insta360. Mm. Girlfriend, I want one of those and I want one of those bad. Maybe I'll just steal Kyle's and borrow it for a couple of days and see if I like it enough to replace this camera with that and that one can be here. But then I lose us. Still, at the same time, I can't really buy a new camera right now because I just bought a new iPhone. And since I bought myself a new iPhone, so close to my birthday, it is what I'm considering my birthday present to myself. Because God knows that when you're above the age of 12, you get your own job, you pay your own bills, and you make no. So ain't nobody gonna buy you a present unless it's you. And as much as I would love the excuse to buy yet another camera that I probably don't need, and we'll use very randomly, seldomly, because that's how this works. I also really want to buy the new Rode Wireless Go 2, and I have, I have, I have issues when it comes to technology, and I just want it all. Back to the fact it's my birthday, and the fact that nobody loves me enough to care that it's my birthday, which I'm okay with. Don't get me wrong. Again, we're all adults here. Nobody should care about a 37 year old 37th birthday. To be quite honest, I shouldn't care about my 37th birthday as much as I do either. But again, my birthdays to me are like a New Year's Eve. Like New Year's. Once more around the sun. And we reset the clocks and go once more around. I completely forgot it was my birthday until like two days ago. I'm like, oh, that's right. It's right there. Forgot. Yay, April. The week after your birthday is also one of the most depressing weeks because all that joy that you just had for it's my birthday and you try to, you know, YOLO through it and do something great and whatever. And now it's literally one step behind you and it's like, well, a whole nother year before anybody gives a damn about me, which again is only me. I feel like this is one of those scenarios like, quit getting so down on yourself, Flip. You still have your health. What you don't? You still have your family. We fight all the time. My sister's not speaking to me. I'm not speaking to my brother. My dad's not speaking to my mom. And all those other stuff. <laughs> it's just another day. Beatles is still alive and healthy and still wants to play. And the fact that she still wants to play is all that matters, which means a lot. It means she's still good. And we still got some time together. Jesus Christ, why are you going so slow? Why are you going so slow? Jesus! Oh my god. I'm losing temper. <sighs> I need to get home and play with my new iPhone. I swear to god, I am gonna have such a shit fit in about 30 seconds. Good fucking god. Later, dickhead. This is just a little bit of residual anger from yesterday because I swear to god, Yesterday, the world was trying my patience, and if I had a can of pepper spray, I would be pepper spraying people in their uvula as soon as they open their mouth. 100% guaranteed what I would have done had I had a can of pepper spray, because a lot of people said and did a lot of stupid stuff yesterday. <clears throat> Woosa, center, breathe in and out, breathe in and out, and go fast. So folks, thank you for coming to my therapy session. Uh, before we end this video, I feel like there's a few things I need to plug. And I should have been doing this a long time ago, which... Whatever, you know, idiot. Um, so if anybody's got any questions about anything, helmet, camera, microphone, riding gear, gloves, anything at all, it's always in the descriptions down below. I do have an Amazon affiliate link for all of my camera rigging and microphone and wires and things like that so for everybody who always asks it's always down there in every video i mean please you're more than welcome to send me messages on instagram and i'm always trying my best to answer your questions when especially when it comes to helping people learn how to do this i will always do my best to give you the very best answer in this scenario also as well i do have my new flip now logo t-shirt available on my etsy store along with fetal Knievel shirts and stickers I'm trying to keep them in stock as well as best as I can. I also do try to stock up to 4X sizes. Um, don't forget about the Road King Kong raffle. We have 
so far raised over $50,000 in two weeks. That is absolutely nuts and insane. And we still have six months to go. What else, what else, what else? Odom MFG gloves, go get you some. I know that everybody's complaining that Odin is currently out of the Serapa gloves. They always bring them back in the style. And if you go ahead and go online and you can get a notification saying, let me know when there's more back in stock and they'll notify you when they're back in stock. Go get you some. They're great guys. They're not a sponsor. They're just friends of ours. And that's literally what we consider them as. I text them. I have their personal phone numbers. We just say what's up and I make fun of them for being Canadian and they make fun of me for living in Florida. They're good dudes. They're doing something awesome for the community and this, and this world that we all live in. Just go look at their products. And uh, Birch Barracuda, thank you so much for giving me this off tail standard for me to have as much fun as my little heart can desire on this thing. You guys are absolutely awesome. You guys are also amazing for donating Road Queen Pong with all the bells and whistles and upgrades to this charity raffle that Josh has schemed up and been rather successful already. We've already discussed that. Super cool dudes. If you guys need anything, go ask them, go talk to them. And if you do decide to buy a motorcycle, you can buy it from them and they'll ship it to you. I know it sounds like a lot of effort for buying a motorcycle when you can just go down to your local Harley dealership, but there's two things that go along with that. A, Burt's is always gonna take care of you. That's something I've learned personally before I ever knew who they were, because I bought my motorcycle from them before. And uh, number two, that makes us look good, which makes them want to keep working with us. And the more they work with us, the more cool things we all get to do together. <sighs> oh, 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 wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. How did I forget what button to press? And on that note, folks, you know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, catch you on the flip side.